No time pressure. Alexander, yeah. tell us, I mean, everyone credits you with uh, the one-man army behind resurrecting and coaching hockey in Goa. What's the scene? What are the main issues today? See, it's not one-man army. I got a team of supporters helping me every time we organize or we do this. So I don't take it as one-man army, but I'm behind there to push and promote hockey. It's a passion for me. Which you brought in from Belgium. Yeah, I brought it from Belgium, but it is a passion. Wherever hockey is there, I like to be there and promote it. So today I'm very happy that the senior ex yesteryears players have come and they have made time to come and interact with our junior players, our present day players, which is very important because our players must understand what was hockey heritage first of us. So today they'll interact and take back memories and improve their level of hockey knowing that these people were successful through hockey. Yeah, yeah very interesting. What's the scene? Now with this ground, how is it changing for the better? More enthusiasm, more activity. I can activities. see. I can see the game changing a lot. Yeah. But technically, we are still back. The game has not been changed technically because they are still hitting the hits, which I always said is outdated. Now you have to go for the slap shots, and which are, they are not doing. I'm insisting that you change your technique. I see. So that little of change of techniques is taking time. But I think within one year, I think they'll able to adapt and adjust to this. The ground thing. is busy enough. Kept busy? Yeah, yeah, every evening there is coaching camp going on. About 20 people come to I see. RCC every evening. Youngsters. RCC no. mini? A regular coaching center. Yeah, I see. Regular coaching every evening there is a training going on. So all schools close by come and practice on the ground. Your biggest challenge as of now? As of now, I think the fitness level of the players should be developed, but we cannot go into fitness because. It is a different this. So you have to get them involved in the game and then take their fitness. If you send them for fitness first, they may not come to the I game. See. So get them into yeah. the game and then tell them the importance of fitness in modern hockey. How you should develop your upper arms, your lower limbs. That is strength, which is must. But that will come later on when they get involved in the game. If you take basically, if you tell a trainee, come, we'll go for fitness. They will not come the next day. See, fitness is something nobody wants initially. So let them get involved, and I think the next level is improve our fitness and strength. You are retired but not tired. No, not never, tired never. at all, hockey. What's your vision? What's I'm, your vision? I'm waiting for them to reach quarterfinals at least in the nationals, in the junior levels. All the best. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.